Hi, hello everyone. For this session, we will discuss new chapter random variables and probability distributions. First, we will discuss few basic definitions. So the first one sample space. Here you know that sample space means for example if you toss a coin tossing a coin you know that if you toss a coin what are the possible outcomes head and tail so write this head and tail in flower brackets so clear this is what set of all possible outcomes so which is called what sample space and it is denoted by yes so for example rolling a die we know if you roll a die what are the possible outcomes the die shows the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these are the possible outcomes then the set of all possible outcomes is called what sample space so therefore s is equal to what the set of all possible outcomes so that is the definition of sample space so next one is a random variable see here random variable So random variable means, so let us consider S is a sample space of any random experiment. Okay. Let S is a sample space of any random experiment. And the function capital X from S to R. So clear this is the real valued function. Because of what are the outcomes here? Real numbers. So, this function is called a real value function. S is the sample space and a real value function x from S to R. So, which is called a random variable. Which is called what? Random variable. Here, this is the domain and this is what codomain so clear the possible outcomes are real numbers and what is the domain here sample space you know s is what sample space so clearly from this you can say that the random variable means a real value function because of outcomes are real values a real value function whose domain is sample space then that function is called what random variable and it is denoted by capital X okay. so this is the definition of random variable so for example tossing two kinds tossing two kinds we know if you toss it two kinds what are the possible outcomes See here, I am writing the possible outcomes when tossing a two kinds. See here, that is denoted by S, S is. So clearly, the first kind shows head, the second kind shows head. Both are shows head. Or one is head, other one tail. Or one is tail, other one head. Or both are tails. So clear these are the possible outcomes when tossing two kinds. Okay. And here x is what a random variable. Here I am taking x as a number of heads. Number of heads. Okay. First one <coughs> x of what sample space no? x of h comma h. So you know x is number of heads. Total how many heads? Two heads. Therefore, 
the outcome value is 2. Next, x of h comma t. Here how many heads? Only one head. So write 1. Similarly, x of t comma h. Here also number of heads 1. And x of t comma t. How many heads? There is no heads. You can write as 0. So clearly what are the outcomes here? Real numbers only no? A real valued function outcomes are real values and domain is what? H comma H, H comma T, T comma H, T comma T. So these domain values are what? Sample space. So this is the example for a random variable. For example, let us consider X is number of heads minus number of tails. Okay. So in that you can find the real values. Okay. Now first x is equal to what? H comma h. No? How many heads here? See here x of h comma h. Here x is defined as number of heads minus number of tails. How many heads? Two heads. How many tails? Zero. So what is the outcome value? Two. Next, x of h comma t. How many heads here? One head, one tail. So one minus one, zero. Similarly, x of t comma h. Here also one head minus one tail. This becomes zero. And the last one x of t comma t you know x defined as what number of heads minus number of tails clearly number of heads there is no heads right as 0 minus number of tails how many tails here 2 which is equal to what minus 2 so clearly random variable x so what are the outcome values 2 1 1 0 in the first example here Negative also will come. So clearly from this we can say that random variable is the real valued. Outcomes are real values. Whose domain is sample space. So this is the definition of random variable. Next one. Probability distribution. Here probability distribution means. So let us consider x is random variable okay. next p is the probability function so p is what probability function okay. then the new function then the new function f from r to r so which is defined by which is defined by capital F of X equals to P of capital X is less than or equals to X. So clearly this is called probability distribution. Here the probability distribution always lies between 0 to 1. Because of you know the probability values always lies between 0 to 1 equal to 0 and 1. So this is the definition of probability distribution. See here for example. So you can consider previous example. You know. For example tossing two kinds. Okay. You know sample space is what? H comma H. Next H comma T. Next T comma H. Next T comma T. Okay, this is the sample space and x is number of heads. Okay, and what is the range here? You know, range is already discussed previous 0, 1, 2. Okay, so this is the random variable. Now, probability distribution. So what is the probability distribution? P of x is less than or equal to x. Okay. 
See here, in this example, if you toss a two kinds, S is the sample space, X considered as number of heads. First, you can take P of X is equal to, what is the X value here? Zero. P of X is equal to zero means getting zero heads. Okay. So, clearly, what are the possibilities here? The last possibility is what? Tail, comma, tail. There is no heads. So, means number of heads should be zero. In that case, the probability value should be favorable chances. How many chances? Only one chance. Divided by total chances. That is four. Next, probability of getting only one head. Okay. So, means there are two favorable chances. So write 2 by total chances 4. Next, P of x is equal to 2. This means getting 2 heads. There is only one possibility that is 1 by 4. So these are the probability distribution values. So this is the example for probability distribution. Okay. So next. So we have three formulas. <clears throat> First one mean next variance. Okay. So here also you can consider capital X, which is equal to XI, which is a random variable. And also consider probability distribution. So what is that? P of X is equal to XI. Which is called probability distribution. Okay. Then we know sum of probability values are always 1. This is the first formula. Sum of probabilities. Which is equal to what? 1. And second formula mean. So you know that mean is denoted by capital U, which is equal to sigma of multiplying these two random variable values and probability distribution. That is xi into p of x is equal to xi. So this is the mean formula. Next last one variance. See here variance formula which is denoted by sigma square. This is equal to summation square of the first term that is x square into right probability distribution as it is that is p of x is equal to x i minus mean square that is mu square. Okay. So based on three formulas we have seven marks questions that are very very important definitely one will come in the annual examinations so based on these three only first one sum of probabilities is one second one mean formula third one variance